Hello everyone! My name is Val and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to show you one of my PowerPoint lessons in which students learn why it's important to be polite. This lesson covers all four language skills listening, speaking, reading and writing. And it is designed in such a way that it um, is geared towards dialogue practice. At the end of the lesson students need to create two dialogues and present these dialogues, act them out in front of the classroom. This lesson is available for sale in my stores on Teachers Pay Teachers and Taobao. Uh, all the links are in the description below, so if you like what you see, please go to these stores and buy this lesson. By buying my lessons, you support my channel and everything that I do. And also, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit that bell icon to turn the notifications on so you never miss a single upload. Enjoy the video and have a great day. Thank you. Bye. Let's take a good look at this PowerPoint lesson. It is called Naughty Bill but also you can call it rude versus polite. I have skipped the part with class rules and warm-up routine. Um, it's really up to you. Class rules never change and you can come up with, the, with your own warm-up routine for this class. So let's read. Let's see how, the, how this lesson goes. Uh, you start off by reading the first slide to the students. This is Bill. He is 10 years old. He is in grade 4. He loves playing sports and hates doing homework. Um, here, uh, you can change easily uh, the grade that you are teaching. Um, uh, this lesson is suitable for grade, for grade 4, 5, and even 6. So, um, if you're teaching, let's say, grade 5, you can change it right there. Uh, Bill is naughty. Look at this cat. It is naughty too. This is a good illustration of the word naughty. Um, then here you can read it together with your students um, and this passage tells uh, why Bill is rude. It um, lists pretty much uh, all rude behavior. So you can read it sentence by sentence. Uh, for example, like uh, boys read one sentence, then girls read one sentence, or you can do uh, it group by group. Just remember that uh, classroom reading is not the same as um, uh, actual reading, so you need to come up with a way to make it um, engaging in your classrooms. Also, um, I have included the translations here in Chinese because I teach in China, but you can very easily um, change these uh, translations into your language. So uh, all you need to do is to click here, click on the text box, uh, highlight uh, the translation and write it down in your language. Okay, let's go on. Uh, other children do not want to play with Bill. They think he is rude. If you click next, uh, uh, you, will, you, you will have a pop-up window which explains the word rude. Again, you can replace the uh, translations uh, in your language very easily. So we have the part of speech, translation, the meaning of the word, and we use it in a sentence. You don't really need to read it to, to your students. They can see it uh, for themselves. Okay, and uh, be, uh, Bill feels sad. Why does he, uh, what does he do wrong? Can you help him? Can you teach him how to be more polite? Again, when we click next, we see uh, the word polite. Uh, translation, meaning, and example. And now let's teach our students uh, why it's important to be polite or how to be polite. Rude or polite? Um, here, 
your students need to say if it is polite or if it is rude. You can actually write these uh, two sentence starters on the board. So they see a picture, they see the behavior, and they need to tell you if it is rude or if it is polite. In this case, well, first you need to extract it from your students, and then you display the sentence, and then the whole class needs to say, it is rude to point at people. Yelling, is it rude or polite? It is rude to yell at people, yeah? Saying thank you, yeah? And uh, your class needs to say, it is polite to say please and thank you. And you go on this way through uh, the rest of the slides. So uh, they see a picture and they decide if it's rude or polite. Pushing. It is rude to push people because people may get hurt. It is polite to hold the door for someone. Mm -hmm. Fada bombing. That's a fun one. It is rude to fada bomb people. And here, actually, you can take a couple of selfies with your students uh, or to, 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 to demonstrate the idea of fada bombing. I always do it in my classes. We have a lot of fun doing it. So, um, yeah, just do it to demonstrate the word fada bomb. Uh, here's the first activity, pop quiz. Here you invite a student from each team and they need to choose the right answer. Whoever says it first uh, gets a point for their team. So it is polite to help people. B is the correct one. It is rude to speak loudly at the cinema. And uh, of course, you need to invite a new pair of students every time you display a new question. It is polite to be on time. And so on. <laughs> All right, uh, writing race. This activity is optional. If you have time, do it. If you don't, you can skip to the next one. Here's how we play. Uh, we play in teams, two girls versus two boys, or two students from one team versus two students from uh, the other team. So they need to finish the sentence. It is polite to and just finish it. Uh, they don't need to write these uh, the sentence starter, they just need to finish it. Um, for example, they can write say thank you yeah so it is polite to say thank you all they need to do is to write say thank you one word uh gets them one point so if they write say thank you they get three points and they only have one minute to complete it so um uh, you can invite them to the blackboard and they can compete they can write everything on the blackboard for everyone to see and when you click next uh, it will trigger this timer. It's a one minute timer. Um, when it is over, you're going to hear a bell. So it's just for you, a teacher, to help you with timing and for everyone to see. So here they can write stuff. It is polite to say thank you, hold the door for someone, sit quietly. It all depends on their uh, proficiency level, but it's a good practice. Okay, here we go. Here's the bell. And then you do the same thing for uh, the following sentence starter. It is rude to, and again, you invite a new, um, new teams, uh, a couple of students from each team, and they need to finish this sentence. It is rude to shout. It is rude to push, uh, speak loudly at the cinema right and so on okay from rude to polite uh, here's our next activity here you need to tell your students that in English language it is always always more polite to ask questions so you can say give me a pencil 
or you can say can i have a pencil please so uh both uh expressions are perfectly fine but it's always more polite to ask a question so don't say give me a pencil please but say can i have a pencil please right so um i think it's a good way of explaining uh what's polite to your students all right and let's practice now so you display a sentence i want water and then you can elicit from your students what is a polite way to do it and then you show your um your option can i have a glass of water please or go away yeah can you give me five minutes please three shut your mouth <laughs> Uh, can you be quiet, please? And four, what do you want? How may I help you? Or what can I do for you? Okay, uh, dialogue practice. So this lesson um, is geared towards dialogue practice. So your students need to create dialogues at the end. So <clears throat> they're going to be working in pairs and they need to create two dialogues. One rude and one polite. And then they need to act them out in front of the class. Uh, tell them they must use magic words. And you can go through these magic words. Can I please excuse me? Here you are. You are welcome. My pleasure. Thank you. And I am sorry. Right? And you give examples. So for example, uh, here's an example of a rude dialogue. Hey, give me your stupid ball now. No, I don't play with bullies. And you tell them that Jack here is very rude. He's a bully. Yeah, and we don't play with bullies. Bullying people is wrong. Um, and here's an example of a polite dialogue. Hi, can I play with your football, please? We can play together if you like no problem here you are thank you you are very welcome tom is very polite here he is kind and friendly and you tell your student that this was an example and now it's their turn so you give them some time you um, they can work on these dialogues and then you can invite a few students to um, demonstrate to act out these dialogues in front of the class uh, and here how this lesson ends so now uh, hopefully by the end of the class your students understand the importance of being polite and you can read this together with your children bill is happy he uses magic words he knows how to talk to others now he has many friends who want to play with him well done bill and to recap your lesson ask this question what did we learn today you can have a discussion with your students and then uh, you can show your options. We help Bill to become more polite. Polite children have many friends. That's why it's important to be polite and treat others as you would like others to treat you. Yeah, it's a universal truth and hopefully this lesson will not just teach them some good English, but also will teach them how to be a better person. That's what I hope. <laughs> okay, and this is the end of the class. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this lesson is going to help you and your students. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.